The greatest American alive. Are you a single woman in America? Do you have a good job? Do you drive a nice car? Girl, what you pushing? You got them leathers? Oh, girl, you got those leathers. Tell me about your house. You got a two-bedroom apartment? You got you a two-bedroom apartment. Oh, my. Oh, wait, what? You got a three-bedroom house? Girl, you really got it going on. I'm going to ask you the most difficult question in your life. Please don't get offended. We're just having good conversation, yes? You got it going on so well. Why don't you have yourself a man? Why don't you have a man tell the truth and get some power? You have a degree. You got two degrees. You got three degrees and you ain't got no D. How you got three degrees and ain't got no D? You're operating based on old ideas. I'm going to tell you right now, okay? How can women occupy 50% of the workforce, 50% of the workforce, but they don't want to do their due diligence. Listen here. When feminism was a real movement, men were 80% of the workforce. Now women are 50% of the workforce. They want 50% of economic power, but they don't want to do the 50% of civic responsibility. It's your duty to give up that booty. Yes, it is. If you can't give it away, then baby, maybe you have to pay. If don't nobody want it and you can't give it away, then baby, you got to pay. Tell the truth and get some power. Yes. But you want to be happy though, right? You bought the nice car. You got the nice condo. You got the nice house. You got the big degree, but you ain't got no good D. Why is this? Because expectations determine your happiness. You're expecting someone to come love you for what you are, but you ain't willing to love other people for what they are. You ain't willing to love the American man for exactly what he is. You know that he ain't got no job. You know that he ain't got no car, but you look down on him. You look down on Brokey. I don't want no Brokey. How is that equality? For thousands of years, since the beginning of time, men have been buying the cookie. And now all of a sudden you have economic power. You have real political power in America and you don't want to buy no D. Baby, if you can't give it away, then you have to pay. It's the honest truth. Go into that special secret drawer in your room, yes? Go in there and grab that dilly dally. You paid for a dilly dally. Go and buy you a real man. Say, instead of my toy, I got a real boy. Put your hands on your hips and say, instead of a toy, I got a real boy. <laughs> this is what equality is. This is what feminism is. If you really want to have equal power in America, then you have to do your civic duty, and that's to give up that booty. Yes. And if don't nobody want to come buy it, if don't nobody want to try it, or if they don't want to stay and you can't give it away, then baby, you have to pay. Reach into your purse. Purse first, mama. Reach into your purse. Bring out some of those big face hundreds, and you go and you add value to some man's life. You go find the man you want. You look him square in his eyes and say, I'm going to pay you to be in these thighs. Yes, I have a two bedroom apartment. Do you want to live with me? I got a three bedroom house. It's all rent free. Go and get yourself a man and buy yourself some D. Tell the truth and get some power. This is the rhetoric of when capitalism meets feminism. You want it economic power. You want it political power. You want it body autonomy. You have it. Now you have everything that you need to be a free woman in America, but you ain't got no man. You can quantify everything. How much did that dilly dally in your drawer cost? How much does a chef cost? How much does a mechanic cost? How much does it cost for a person to listen to your problems? These are all expensive things. And you got that big old California king size bed sleeping all by yourself, snoring, getting that good sleep because you ain't got no good D restless ass spirit, but you can quiet that spirit. Just by being honest with yourself, baby, are you less than gorgeous? Are you not the most beautiful person on the planet? Can you be honest with yourself, please? Are you not the most beautiful person on the planet? Because if you ain't and nobody really wants to date you, then maybe you should change your standards. Yes, what should your standards be? If you can't give it away for free, then maybe you got to pay for some D. Holy Holy is absolutely right. Your life is missing something. Your life is empty. Your bed is empty. Your vagine is empty. Your vagine is empty because don't nobody want to enter. And so instead of asking a man to take you out, you have to pay for the dinner. This is true equality in America, especially when you're talking about the sexual marketplace. Create value. If you want the same power that a man has, then use that power for good. Use your feminine energy to capture yourself, a man who's going to love you unconditionally because you believed in him, man. Men just love some good old good P, some peace and some P. That's what they need. You are the most powerful person that's ever existed in the history of the world because you have political power in America. And you got them ta ta ta's. Da da da. Da da da. ESPN, baby. You are a highlight reel. Real men are real 
but they don't want no bad deal. They want a good deal. Give a man a good deal. Look him square in his eyes and tell him, I know that I got the money, baby. I know I got the car, baby. I'm not going to try to hoe you. I'm not going to try to treat you like my little B-I-T-C. Ah, I'm not going to try to gal you. No, I'm going to put my man on his pedestal and edify my man. The same thing that men have been doing since the beginning of time. Men have been going and buying the woman they want. They offer them opportunity. They offer them security because they really want the pretty girl. They go and get the best thing on the market that they can. And I'm asking American women to be heroes and go get the best deal on the market that you can. Buy yourself a good man, huh? Go home to your mama house and say, mama, look what I got. I got the brand new edition. I got a real boy. I put away that plastic toy and I got me some good old American D and he be all up inside of me. It wasn't free. But your car wasn't free. Your condo wasn't free. Your degree wasn't free. You got three degrees and you ain't got no D. Tell the truth and get some power. It's time to change America. It's time to change the rhetoric. Women are the most powerful people in America, but they don't want to use their power for good. They don't want to exhibit their civic duty, their civic responsibility of giving up that booty because they know they really ain't no cutie. You know it. You know it. Your results show it. You can't pull the man that you want, but instead of you acknowledging the fact that you have to add value in other ways, Ways because your face ain't getting it, baby. Your body ain't getting it, baby. But maybe your purse will. Ooh. <laughs> You don't want no real power in America. You still want to be a victim. You don't need no victim mentality. You need to be a champion. You need to be a hero. Be a hero for feminism. Save America. Your purse can save America. Yes, you can save America with two Ps. Your purse and the coochie. Yes, you can make America great again because you're the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive, baby. <laughs> The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.